Good morning, folks. We've got some good news articles to hit today, a couple bad news articles to cover as well, and a good study on Heinrich events involving polar ice loss like we're seeing right now. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the southern departing filaments were snapping. Minor CME production, and we have several more filaments facing Earth to complement the incoming active regions. We've got those incoming north and south, and they released an M class solar flare this morning. We'll be watching them closely as they turn in over the next two days. Let's start the articles with the good news. North Atlantic marine productivity is still not suffering. In past years, we have shared articles about plankton and chlorophyll not struggling as was expected with climate change. Well, here's another suggesting the oceans are doing just fine. We complement that with two studies on forests, which are not only bouncing back faster in formerly industrialized areas, but are able to help mitigate and guard against degradation. While it is our contention that plant food is not really a climate concern, hopefully they realize things like this are better ideas for the planet than spraying the sky, which is probably the worst idea they have on the subject. Some bad news here. EU will continue its use of glyphosate. It was really looking like it was going to be over for the toxic substance in Europe, but it has been allowed to continue for a bit longer. No fan of this news, and in a similar vein. This is related to what many have suggested is actually killing the bees. They have survived far harsher winters or summers than we're seeing now, so can't really blame climate. And their disappearance is in fact due to chemicals that we spray down here on the ground. Turns out that whether it's at the surface or in the sky, spraying is bad news and has big consequences. Top story today is this. Confirmation of several previous studies suggesting that Heinrich events trigger hydroclimate changes away from the polar region. This one looks at Heinrich event 1, which coincided with the Helena Pauli geomagnetic excursion, by the way, and the fact that it triggered a much wetter climate, especially for the United States. They do a good job mentioning the weaker Atlantic circulations, which they also notice are happening right now, implying we are heading towards another Heinrich event now, which is, of course, what we have been saying and would end up reversing temperature trends and throwing the Earth back towards cold. We greatly appreciate your support. Today is our Observer event at Observer Ranch, and if you got tickets, I'll see you in a few hours. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.